Another competition was a new one this year. During the holiday cheer, there was an ugly sweater competition. Chris Browden and I got to see some festive sweaters. Right, Shelby? So here I am at Luna Art and Wine in downtown Cedar Falls. Uh, we're going to take a couple minutes to walk around, check out some people's sweaters here at the Ugly Sweater Contest, and see what the inspiration might be behind some of the designs. So here we go. This sweatshirt is stupendous. I love it. It's awesome. It's all over the place. What's your inspiration behind it? How'd you come up with it? Part of it is from Pinterest, and my mom gave me the idea too, because I couldn't find an ugly sweater, so I was like, what? she said, why don't you make one? So I did. And then I just used tinsel, ornaments, and boo! What's the inspiration behind your uh, getup this evening? Mainly whatever was left over from our uh, decorating at home. Perfect. That's why I decorate my apartment for Christmas most of the time. So sir, you look really excited to be here. How are you feeling about your sweater? Godzilla. <laughs> That's great. Uh, what, what inspired Godzilla out of this? I don't know. It came to me. It's just like, hey, let's put Godzilla on a sweatshirt for this. That, good. That's what I think of when I have Christmas. You know, reindeer, Santa, and Godzilla. Yep, Godzilla. What would you say is the number one inspiration for your costume? You look a little like a present. Is that what you're going for? I like to look cute. So I have to ask, are you guys battery operated? Do you have a generator, a generator running somewhere out back? How's this happening? Satellite, yes, satellite. Perfect. Satellite, very impressive. 21st century, folks. Who would have thought who we'd run into down here on Main Street but our own co-worker from Channel 15, Shelby. How are you, Shelby? I'm doing pretty good. Just enjoying the ugly sweater contest here tonight. Good. It's very classic. It's a classic look. It's simple yet elegant. It's, it's even got a horse tail. It's got some own effects to it. How are you feeling about it? Feeling pretty good. I found this in my grandma's closet. Oh, she's a very elegant lady. It looks very nice. I'm sure she's very excited about you using it. Yeah, she's got shoulder pads and everything. Oh, prepared for battle with the ugly sweater. That's great. I love that. You think you have a good chance of winning this evening? I don't know. There's some tough competition here. The girl I came with, like, totally upstaged me with all the flash and the bows. I mean... Yeah, I've seen electronics. I've seen maybe hydraulics out there somewhere. There's antlers and lights all over the place, so I wish you the best. And how about you? How are you feeling about your sweater? Uh, you know, I like it. It's simple, but it's still very just, you know, it's not really pretty. It's ugly. <laughs> Perfect. I think it looks great. The reindeer antlers are a great addition, so I can do nothing but approve. So I'd have to say that I think my sweater is looking pretty good for the ugly sweater contest. You know, it's very out there. It's very unique. How do you think I'm going to fare tonight? Uh, first place. First place. First place. Vote of confidence. I like this. Thank you. We'll see how that actually works out. You think you're going to have a good chance of winning tonight? Great chance. Good. Glad to hear. Now, I think my sweat sweater's looking pretty good here so far. You think I'm having a good chance of winning? No. Not at all. No. Okay. Well, at least he's honest. We can appreciate that. Finalists were selected based on four categories. Most festive, best vest, ugliest of all, and best coordinated group. Winners were then decided by audience response. I'm not sure why, but I wasn't selected as a finalist this year. Here I am with the winners of the group category and with that winners of this magnificent trophy you see before you. So how do you guys feel about winning this competition? It's quite the accomplishment. Pretty awesome. So here we are with the winner of the best Christmas sweater vest that we have here. And uh, how are you feeling about this big win? Good. The gingerbread served me well. Good. Do you think you're going to go professional in this now? Thinking about it. I'm sure states like Alaska, up in the north, maybe North Dakota, somewhere like that, maybe even Canada, you could find some competitions up there, I'm sure. Possibly, but, uh, you know, kind of hard to beat. So what was the inspiration behind your sweaters? Well, if you want to know the real story. <laughs> well, can we put it on TV? That's the real question right there. Um, Pinterest. Pinterest. We'll leave it at Pinterest. Pinterest leads to trophies. Here is your proof, folks. So I clearly didn't win ugliest sweater, but there's a lot of great competition out here in downtown Main Street, and we're excited to see what it may even hold next year. Back to you, Luke and Shelby. Nice sweater, Shelby. Too bad you didn't win. Personally, I think Chris had it in the bag. He definitely had the most unique sweater at that event. It was the simplest one of them all. 